Hey, it's Simon and welcome back to my channel. I'm out here in Marion in the Grand Massive and as you can see at the moment we are getting snowed on which is absolutely brilliant but sometimes when it snows you get ahead of yourself and yesterday this happened. So as you can see, at the end of that run, my head took a big whack. So one of the things that I wanted to talk to you about today was MIPS and how MIPS works in helmets. Um, before I go into full detail, I just want to say a couple of things. First of all, this year I am riding uh, the Outdoor Master Diamond Helmet, which comes with MIPS. Um, if you want any discount off of Outdoor Master products, you can get that using the code that is currently on the screen. You will save 15% and I will get a little kickback, which will help support the channel move forward. Um, in addition to this, I don't want you to take this video as oh my God, my helmet doesn't have MIPS. Let me throw away the one that I've got and buy another one. That isn't the case. If your helmet is still good, then keep it for the next couple of years. And as long as it's still safe to use, um, then maybe the next time that you're buying a helmet, consider to purchase one with MIPS. So before we get into MIPS then, what is a safe to use helmet? Well, the point is, First of all, it has to fit. Now, in terms of fit, your helmet, you should be able to put it on your head and move your head side to side without the strap done up, without it wobbling about. If you can do that, then your helmet is a good fit. If your helmet is um, wobbling about from side to side, that means that it is too big. Um, if it is sitting too high on your head, then it's too small. In both of those conditions, your helmet will then not protect you. One of the things that I like about this particular helmet is it has a dial on the back, so you can actually increase or decrease the size um, of the helmet, and it can just make it a little bit more personalized rather than a standard helmet size. Um, the second thing that's important uh, in regards to your safety and whether a helmet is safe anyway is have you had a big crash in it? Most helmets are good for one hard impact. After that, the protective layer inside has been compressed and it will not protect you in the same way. So if you've had a big um, impact on your helmet, then potentially it's time to think about replacing it. And then the final thing is you should not keep any helmet, whether it is a cycling helmet, a motorbike helmet, um, a snowboard helmet, a skate helmet for more than five years. So if you've had yours a little bit of time, think about replacing it. But today we're here to talk about MIPS. Now MIPS is this company here with the yellow label. You will see it on loads of different brands. So not just the outdoor master helmets. Um, my helmet um, from last season, which was the gyro ledge, that also had MIPS. Now MIPS stands for multi-directional impact protection system. And what that means essentially is that there is some movement inside of your helmet okay so that when your head slams against the ground you have 10 to 15 millimeters where your helmet can actually rotate slightly and that is meant to prevent um, or like reduce the effects of potential brain injury and concussion now your mix layer you may be able to see it here you may not is like a yellow layer which is on the inside of your helmet um, it shouldn't really affect um, anything in terms of the size of your helmet. It is such a thin layer, but it is just um, allows friction or uh, allows for there to be a lack of friction so that your helmet um, can slide. It's worth, also, it's worth also noting that each of the MIPS um, inserts is made specifically for each helmet. So it's not like a one size MIPS um, fits all. If you've got um, an outdoor master helmet, your MIPS layer will be slightly different to maybe your cycling helmet, for example. Um, why is it important? Now, traditionally, snowboard helmets um, were 
basically tested for a direct impact, like a vertical impact onto a flat surface. Um, so bearing that in mind, when we are snowboarding, I don't know about you, but I like to go onto pieces that are not vertical. They have an incline to them. That means if you're to fall and to hit your head, you're most likely to hit your head at an incline or, or at an angle. Now, traditional um, impact testing, as I said, is just straight up and down vertical. So that wouldn't necessarily protect you. What MIPS does, and it's tested up to a 45 degree angle, is it allows your helmet to just rotate slightly, reducing some of that movement. Now think about it. You're falling over to the side and you hit your head, like I did in the video. It's not just a straight up and down. Your neck moves around as well, okay? And so your, your brain is doing this sliding movement inside your skull. And just having that layer of MIPS inside is meant to, um, reduce the impact and all I can really tell you from experience is the fall, the fall that I had yesterday using um, this helmet okay I think I've done that fall in the past with a non-MIPS helmet and I've definitely felt more sore after it now that is very circumstantial um, there could be other things that that impact that it could be the size of the helmet it could be the headband that i was wearing underneath but for me i now wouldn't choose a helmet without mips is it something that you consider when you're buying your helmets let me know your thoughts down in the comments i hope that you found this video useful if you did, please share it with other people. It's really nice to see the channel growing. Make sure to subscribe for more content and I look forward to seeing you soon with another video.